here and season three is just around the corner so we wanted to put together a video and make it simple that's the that's the key thing i want to get to level one to 100 and i want to do it fast and that's the idea right because we know that the gauntlet is coming out and you want to get to a level 100 fast so you could catch those leaderboards and that is the goal uh, for us here and hopefully it's the goal for you too uh, but i wanted to cover a few things you know being season three playing since release you know i've i've obviously leveled a lot of sorcerers so uh some tips that i'm going to be using uh, to level as fast as possible on season three coming out and uh just make it simple make it fast make it quick and get to 100 that's the goals so first thing i want to talk about is i just made a new character here and he is already on world tier two so even if you haven't played diablo there's two tiers there's world tier one world tier two world tier two is a bit harder but you get 20 percent more experience and gold so i would highly recommend playing on world tier two because it is going to go a lot faster so that's just the, the the easy quick tip tip number one if you call it that but uh make sure you start on world tier two tip number two all right so i am world tier two right now i actually made it to world tier four on the first night playing diablo season two so get to world tier four as fast as possible it is way more experience when you get to the world tier four and and you could be like 10 levels below the mobs and still kill mobs of world tier four and you'll just like level so quick and catch up so you want to get to world tier four as fast as possible and then i call this something a little bit different so this is kind of like my third tip i would say play in the map use m on your keyboard or whatever you link it to actually i haven't linked in a couple areas but use the map play the map so there's going to be another a seasonal area so this is season two right so we had this harvest event seasonal area and this area right here was actually very very fast to level in and right now there's a double bonus in here so you know obviously you got the seasonal stuff to kill the blood seekers slay these these all these little quests you do that you're going to get 10 grim favors you're going to go to the tree of whispers and you're going to get some good rewards and you're going to get some good gold which is really important for later which we'll talk about but right now we also have some other events within this event and you always want to try to complete those as much as possible we even have a dungeon so the dungeon should be completed for more grim favors more experience so you're going to want to do everything in the seasonal sections always whenever it pops up we're actually going to have more hell tides too so hell tides are going to be able to do more frequent but they won't be as good as experience as the seasonal areas i would never recommend just grinding a dungeon over and over when there is events to be done like these events should be done while i'm leveling so this is a new character that's so why everything's kind of closed off right now but see right here also we want to do these all these events and that's going to be the fastest way to level because we're going to get more grim favors and we're going to go to the trio whispers and we're going to able to do more turn-ins so we're going to get more rewards more gold and experience so play the map press m all the time when something pops up so you might have a legion event do the legion event the legion event is going to give you a ton of experience you know if you have a world boss do the world boss you're probably not going to be able to kill it at a lower level but somebody else will be higher than you so do the events play the map and you will level a lot faster all right so this next portion is probably going to be my favorite portion uh because currently if i was to level a sorcerer there's only three different builds that i would do so there's arc lash i want to level fast if i wanted to level fast if i want hey if you want to take your time you want to take your time watch kelfka's videos while you're playing 
sub to the channel, whatever you want to do. You want to take your time. That's fine. You can do that. I'm talking about I'm trying to get to 100 as fast as possible. Let's go. All right. So there's three belts. So I'm going to I'm going to go over all of them and, and why these three builds are the best builds to use. So first one's Arc Lash. Uh, the second one is going to be Ice Shards. And then the third one's going to be Chain Lightning. So those are going to be our three best builds currently. If something changes, I'll let you know because Season 3 does not have the actual... Um, we don't know what the actual seasonal theme is or anything like that. But currently to level Arc Lash, Ice Shards, or Chain Lightning. So... You press your Y button on your keyboard, you're gonna see your codex of power. So for Arc Lash, there is we'll go to offense, there's a, this rapid aspect. So the rapid aspect, you gain 15% attack speed, basic skill, basic skills. So that's very, very good for Arc Lash. So that's that's why Arc Lash is very strong early on. Uh, for ice guards, you get the aspect of piercing cold. So now we know we could do our clash. We could run through things. We could run through it fast. We could do ice shards. We could pierce through things, run through things fast. So you see the little, the, the dungeons you got to go to dead man's dread. And then I believe this one's, uh, where is it? Buried halls. So those are the two. And then chain lightning. You actually have to go to the resource tab because this right here is fantastic. Recharging aspect. So if you want to play chain lightning, this is also a very, very good aspect. And, you know, you, you're going to get to your core skills before like your mastery skills or anything like that. So that's why you got to try to kind of try to have to pick one of these um, to use. You might be able to use arc left and chin lightning. I mean, you can do that together. Um, might might be something you want to look at or ice shards in arc clash. I don't know. Try it out. See what happens. But those are the three. I would definitely recommend doing get into those uh, dungeons and knocking those out as soon as possible because you're going to want these if you're going to want to play one of those builds. So I'll decide which one I'm going to level with after I see the seasonal update. So maybe maybe ice shards will be a little bit better because of something with the seasonal powers or whatever that looks like or chain lightning or arc clash. But it's going to be one of those three. One of those three. Comment below. What do you think? What do you think out of those three would be the best to level with? So... All right, so then there's still some things you need in here. There's still some work to be had. You have to get these too. So there is the elemental aspect. Very, very good. Uh, so core skills above 100% mana, you get a 20% increased crit. So that's very good. Uh, there is also the aspect of control, which I highly recommend getting as well. Uh, if you stun an enemy, fro freeze an enemy, uh, you're able to... Do 25% more damage to that enemy. So definitely go get this one, the Sunken Library. Uh, very, very important. And there is one more that we have to get. If I could find it. That is important. This one right here. Storm Swall Aspect. So increase 21% damage to vulnerable enemies. Go get this Onyx Hold. So these are the ones you, you really should focus on early. Get these out of the way. Get these dungeons done. Hopefully it's in... Hopefully it's a, a dungeon that has, you know, this early on. Maybe it has some grim favors. We'll see. All right. Back to the codex because we're not done with it yet. So there is uh, one defensive codex. I think what everyone should get is the aspect of disobedience. And then also this one might not be uh, terrible to get grab too. Um, Surat's Lair is actually pretty fun dungeon. Easy. So that's a, that's a nice one to get as well. So... Uh, Two more things in the Codex of Power. So these are all things we're gonna get. We're gonna want to get. Um, we're gonna want to grab and get as soon as possible. So I 100% think if you don't go Chain Lightning, you're gonna need at Prod Prodigy's aspect. So you're gonna want to go grab that as well in Witchwater. Uh, so grab that, get that done, get that out of the way, and then I love being fast when I'm leveling, so I will put this on my neck and put this on my boots. Is the aspect of bonding conduit 25% after teleporting, movement speed for three seconds, and then win striker aspect because if when you crit, you get 8% more movement speed. So I think that being fast is also going to help you level one to 100 all much faster, obviously, running around the map and dungeons and things like that. You're going to be doing so, uh. 
pretty easy tip so far, right? You know, get your codex power, you know, play the map, start in tier four or start in tier two, get to tier four as fast as possible. I want to talk about a couple more things. I've talked about this before AOZ came out. I was like, everyone get 3000 veil crystals. You're going to want them. So, uh, you know, when you go to the materials here, this is because I have my main, these things I would save as much as possible because the gauntlet is going to be different every week and there might be a different build that's better for that week. So the veil crystals are very, very important to build up and also forgotten souls uh, by doing hell tides. So build these up. You know, I'm not a big fan of changing my build like too, uh, too many times during the leveling process because it's pretty quick anyways. But um, these things are going to be really important to make sure that you're holding on to farming. I always like to do a good balance between, um, you know, uh, getting items, uh, selling items or um, destroying items. I forgot, why can't I think of what that's called? <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. So those, those two things, very, very, very important. And then uh, the last thing I want to talk about is just the, the seasonal powers. Uh, the season three, uh, the evil looms, maybe some runes. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'm excited to see exactly what happens in season th three. So we will update you guys as soon as possible, as soon as that comes out. Uh, I think we're going to get a sneak peek on the 16th is what I think. And then the 18th is when we have the live stream dev chat. So... Hopefully it will cover all that as well, but that is it. That is like, why do you, why do you need to watch a two hour video on how to level? This is the fastest video and the fastest way to level one to 100. Comment below what you think. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. We're trying to get to a thousand subs before season three. We're eating two foot long Subarinos. Two, not one, two. Yeah, throw it up on the screen. Two, two. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Take care.